Okay, so if you're watching this video, this is over Let's Regroup Practice. And we are going to be solving these eight problems in class. And I am going to record some video help for you. So let's start with number one. Number one says Lisa is working on plans for a three acre piece of land in the community. The park area will cover one and three fifths acres. How many acres will be left for home sites? So the first thing that we want to do is we want to partition our paper off into four equal sections and go back and read our question, how many acres will be left for home sites? So I can turn that around and say, there will be blank acres left. And thinking about the pieces that I need, I'm planning in this area. So I have a three acre home site, three acres. So I'm going to draw my three pictures. And it says that the park area will be one and three fifths acres. So the park area is one and three fifths. So we want to know well, what is remaining for the home site. So looking at this problem, I'm thinking to myself, I've got this plot of land. I'm using some of it for the park. I want to know what is left. So we are separating what's being left, the whole acreage of land from the park part. So we are subtracting the one and three fifths from the three acres. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up over here. Three minus one and three fifths. Now in order to make my picture match my work, because this is the probably one of the easiest ways to do this, is I'm going to go back to my denominator, which is 5, and I'm going to partition this into 5 equal pieces. So there's 5 fifths, that's one hole. There's another 5 fifths, that's two holes. And another 5 fifths, which makes our three holes. Now what I can do is I can cross off a whole group and draw an arrow. It's leaving and another three-fifths. One, two, three. These are also leaving. So what is left, it looks like one whole and two-fifths is left. If I go along with my estimate real quick, I can think about, well, I started with three. It looks like about two have left, so my answer should be pretty close to one, which matches my work. But if I wanna go over to my solving area and relate this to the algorithm, what really happened? Well, I broke down my whole model into fifths. So we could call three holes two and five fifths and I'm getting five fifths because I'm using my denominator now that I have fifths I can take away some fifths so five fifths minus three fifths is two fifths and two holes minus one hole is one hole so my final answer is one and two fifths and again, that relates back to my estimate. So I'm going to write my answer here, and I'm going to move on to number two.